together with the friends from Palestine and we're also the conveners of the march that we did two weeks ago to the United Nations as well as uh, the British and EU offices. But we would never have finished our work if we had ended at the United Nations and at the British and EU offices. Because the principal chief financer, the principal supporter, the principal baker of the genocidal Israeli regime is two kilometers away from here, the American embassy. It is America that is financing Israel. As we speak today, America gives Israel $3.8 billion every year to commit genocide in Palestine to be its left block in the Middle East. But as if that is not enough, comrades, when we met two weeks ago, over 11,000 Palestinians had been murdered in cold blood. Of these, over 4,000 were little children. Just in two weeks since we last met, over 15,000 are dead today. Two-thirds of them are women and children. Cease fire! Cease fire! Cease fire! Cease fire! Cease fire! Cease fire! So comrades, we have to go and demand from the Americans today that we do not want a truce of three days. We do not want a truce of four days. We want a permanent ceasefire now. We do not just want a permanent ceasefire now. We must address the root cause of this problem. And the root cause of this problem is the robbery, is the occupation of Palestine by Israel. We must have a free and independent Palestinian state. So that is what we are demanding. Comrades, some of you might say, does this thing work of marches? Does this thing work of demonstrations? If you remember when we met two weeks ago, the planes and bombs of Israel were raining on Gaza. But as a result of the solidarity by the peoples of the world, the Israelis and Americans have been forced to a truce. So this solidarity works. And we want to say to our sisters and brothers from Palestine, just like in the Liberation War, we are brothers and sisters. Today, we are also brothers and sisters with you. And to say thank you to our male comrades for five years standing up saying no to American imperialism. We must remain together. I conclude comrades by saying the South African parliament has now said the Israeli embassy must move out. We want Israeli embassies across static to move out immediately. Thank you. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine.